Well, good morning and welcome to Daily Reflections this morning. We're starting a brand new series of um, reflections each day this week, being called to make a difference. And today's scripture on day one is Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. But today's scripture invites us into the actual throne room of God, where the heart of a creator resonates with the profound question, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Have you ever been in a situation where a leader asks for a volunteer and there's a heavy, suspenseful silence in the room? Everyone is hoping someone else will step up. Isaiah's response is both inspiring and challenging. Here am I, send me. So there's a willingness to serve. In a world that often promotes self-interest and self-preservation, being willing to serve, especially when there's a cost, is countercultural. But here's a deeper truth. Service in God's kingdom isn't just about duty. It's about desire. It's about the heart that says, I want to be where you are, doing what you are doing, Lord. Let's reflect for a moment. How willing is your heart to step into what God might be calling you to? So there's a God initiative. It strikes, uh, it's striking to realise that the call comes from God. We don't initiate the, the conversation, he does. And that means something profound. Your purpose, your mission, your very reason for being. It's not something that you have it have to invent or discover on your own. It's something God has already ordained and prepared for you. This takes off the pressure, doesn't it? Knowing that God has a plan and that he is the one setting the things in motion is truly liberating. Who will go for us? It echoes the plurality of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. This reminds us that when we step into our calling, we are not serving a distant singular deity, but a dynamic relational God. The Trinity works in perfect unity and they're inviting us into that unity. What an honour it is to serve such a God. As we wrap up this morning, this morning's devotional, take a quiet moment to listen. Can you hear the echo of God's question in your heart? Whom shall I send? Let's be bold and echo Isaiah's response. Here I am, send me. So my prayer for this morning is, Lord, thank you. For your call. I am here, willing and ready. Use me for your glory and help me to always be attentive to your voice. Amen. You know, may you be filled with a sense of divine purpose and willingness to serve wherever he leads. So the pretty uh, uh, thoughtful thoughts today that we have on what it means to be following God. So until tomorrow, I shall see you then.